Alright, so um, believe it or not, it's um, it's well past 9:30 in the Isle of Man on the uh, the Monday after the event. Um, I'm still here. Chad's gone home. You'll see him in the video shortly. Um, still got the helmet on because I've just jumped off the bike. This is um, Bella Bridge here. I've got the uh, CBR 1100 that John lent me. What an absolute legend. Um, I can't thank him enough. And um, through a hook up with Dave, being able to borrow and use a bike at the Isle of Man's made the trip a thousand times better than it would have been without, I think. I mean, you know, you get to see all the sights and sounds, but actually being able to ride the course and being amongst the action has been um, a real highlight of it. Um, words really can't explain just how amazing and important this place is in the world of motorsport and the world of motorcycling. Um, I've been wanting to come here for a while and, um, and kept putting it off and putting it off and I think life gets in the way of you a lot of the time and you know I finally bit the bullet, got the money, bought a ticket and I came and you know there's probably hundreds and thousands of people out there that are thinking the same you know oh, it's going to cost me a lot of money um, you know maybe next year maybe the year after if you can do it do it you know for those guys to get out there in this course and push to the speeds they do I mean I'm I'm riding to Peel now, which is on the other side of the island, and some of the uh, areas here are unlimited speed limits, and I've been sitting on 100, 120 miles an hour in some of those areas, and you really get to the corners quickly, especially on a big heavy bike like that. And to think some of these guys are riding well above and beyond that is just phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, I can't stress enough, if motorbikes are your life and you're so passionate about them, Forget about all the crap in your life, buy a ticket, come here and see it the way we have. I can't really show you how amazing it is in a video, but hopefully this video will show you some of the stuff we've seen and it'll inspire you to come. Thanks. Somehow in the Isle of Man we're going to get this steak and ale pie in there, which is in a huge space in Italy, but I think this is mostly air. Ironically like this. So. Finally, Isle of Man 2016, this is pretty awesome. Um, we met Chad over here. We've done about half a lap so far tonight, but uh, it's a little bit cold to take on the full mountain. It's currently 10.15pm if you can believe it. Blue skies. Can't wait for tomorrow. Makeup! <laughs> this is uh, Glen Country Road. This is where history is made. Uh, and has been made since 1907. Best place in the world, mate. Unbelievable. This is the start finish line for the TT. It's got these old school scoreboards where they literally hand write the scores of the times as they come in. They have Boy Scouts literally running the numbers back and forward. Race Control is an old red brick building over my shoulder with a big old grandstand. There's a motorcycle dyno that's wailing away into the night. All the pits are back there. It's nearly 11 pm, but there's still a bit of light around. It's just a great kind of mystique about this place. It's almost hard to put your finger on, but it's bit awe-inspiring really. It's cool. Oh, you should get a job in TV. <laughs> <laughs>